I got a pretty long list of a lot of people that I need to talk to from the different companies that I have been a part of and I'm in right now. So I'm going to get the important ones out of the way first, like <clears throat> CCL. Jamal, you and me for the VW World Championship at Supernova. Oh, that's going to be fun, right? Supernova is you and me. And quite frankly, I've noticed what you've been doing. See, I almost uh, had to remember whether or not you even remembered that we had a match since you've been so focused on trying to take out the kingdom of immortals. I get it. But see, that is where you messed up. Because you can say you're prepared for me, but I know you're not. And for that, Jamal, side partner, what you think gonna happen is not gonna happen. Because it doesn't matter the stipulation. It don't. It doesn't matter the stipulation of the match. Fact is, in my career, it's always been the same. Guy talks a big game, but they all fall to a knee. A Jaguar knee. And you are no better. So at Supernova, I expect the best out of you. But uh, <laughs> I don't expect you to win. So you can be as savage as you want. But determination beats savagery any day of the week. And speaking of more people in CCL, there's two particular people of interest that I need to address. Uh, one of them is the CCL World Champion, AJ Young. It's funny, AJ, because I know at some point you're going to probably mention me and say that I'm not on the radar or you'll make some little gratuitous pot shot about how why do I need to worry about Malik Brown? I've beat Malik Brown before. Yeah, you beat me in AWF like, what, a month back, a year back? You really going to still hold that over me? <laughs> Shows you how petty he really is, right, folks? He can sit there in one minute and prove that he's actually a goddamn man and prove that he can beat somebody. But the moment he come, the moment that man comes back looking for his rematch, because this is a different fucking company. This ain't AWF. This is CCL. And I got the opportunity, the golden goddamn ticket, to get that title. You start ducking me. God, now I see how many Synchronic feels. You're ducking a lot of people today, AJ. How can you claim to be a franchise player when you run like a bitch on everybody around you? I guess the Doc is much more of an influencer as we thought he was. Because he turned a once decent man into a bitch. But then again... That's always been your career, hasn't it, AJ? You sit there claiming that you have always been overlooked. You sit there saying you've always been overshadowed. But the truth is, the only person that's ever overshadowed you is you. The only person that's overlooked anybody was yourself. You stunted your own fucking growth because you would much rather take shortcuts and bitch and moan about how you never got opportunities, how you carried something on your back, yet at the same time, you look suspect when on appearance. And hey, Jane, I'm going to be real with you, man. You are looking at the most dangerous person here on the CCL roster. Mason Crawford can say he's dangerous. He can say it. And he quite possibly is. But I haven't, I don't fear death. Death should fear me because I defy death every damn day. And Mason can sit there and claim he is that. He can claim that the killing spree will begin. He can claim all of that. You know what, Mason? Yeah, that's good. But I don't sweat you. I don't fear you. Fuck, as far as I'm concerned, you shouldn't even be March Madness winner. Because uh, <laughs> you didn't beat me. The order. You didn't beat me. 
The doctor's order beat me. Doc's little goons beat me. You didn't. And I want you to live with that for all of your days. I want you to live with the fact that you didn't beat Malik Brown. The doctor's order beat Malik Brown. I want you to live with that. And AJ, I want you to live with the fact that you are looking at the most dangerous man right now. A man that you never wanted to be dangerous. A man that you never wanted to see. See, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you can hold that title all you want. But the doctor cannot save you. He cannot. You cannot be saved. The inevitable is near. And it's this. Malik Brown can come in anytime. Whatever match you have, it don't matter if it's the beginning, the middle, or the end. I can literally waltz my happy black little ass down that ramp, put that briefcase in the ref's hand, say call the bell, and I can make it a CCL World title match where I could just take advantage like so many others before you. I could do so many different things. I, I really can. So I want you to have eyes in the back of your head, AJ. I want you to sweat over the fact that it ain't just Mason Chronic you got to worry about. It's this guy, Malik Brown, you got to worry about too. Now, Mason Chronic just wants to destroy the doctor's order. Ray Geddes wants to destroy the doctor's order. I don't give a fuck what you guys do. I just want, I just want that world title. I don't give a shit about the doc. I don't give a shit about Ben Hopkins. Because quiet as kept, Ben Hopkins is back what he is always is. He's nothing more than a goon, a stooge for somebody else, even though he's supposed to be the call stars world champion. Wow, yeah, I forgot, Ben. You are the call stars world champion, aren't you? <laughs> Well, explain this to me. How are you supposed to be the Call of Stars World Champion when AJ Young's running the show again? Ain't that some shit? Ain't, ain't that funny? AJ Young still is the top guy, even though you are supposed to be the best of the best. Ain't that some shit? Looks like the Ben Hopkins brand, yet again, is just second rate to everybody else. Ironic, isn't it? But don't worry, don't worry. When the day comes and I have my match with you, I'll actually bring some prestige to the Call All Stars World title. <laughs> and since we're back on CCL, I guess another person of interest is TGO. You know what? I've always been the most honest kind of guy. I've always been the most bluntest of people. I have never sugarcoated anything. I've never given anybody placebos or anything else like that. I've always been blunt and I've always been honest. I'm an honest man. And if there's anything people have ever remembered, even in my madness and even in my days of loss, I have been an honest man. So I will be completely honest when I say the following, TGO. Bullshit. You sit there and talk about how you didn't get the respect. You <laughs> didn't get the respect that you've done for this business. What the fuck have you really done in this business? Mm -hmm. What? What? I'm gonna be real. What have you done in this business that everybody else has a claim to? What's what is anything different than what you've done? Hmm. I'm gonna be real. I'm not gonna sit here and kiss your ass like everybody else is kissing your ass and say, you know, you were you were a hero of mine. You were somebody I looked up to that I idolized, and then just like. Many role models like my father, you disappointed me. I'm not going to give you that fucking spiel like everybody else has been giving you. I'm going to be real with you. To me, you're just like the great D. You're just like all these other fucking lead 
you're just like all these other guys that's got like nine, ten years under their fucking belt. You think that because you spent a decade in a company and a little bubble and you've been whooping ass and doing everything there, you think that you're going to have a legacy outside of this business. <laughs> okay. Keep dreaming. See, the fact is, TGO, you sit there and claim that you're a great one. You sit there and claim that you deserve all the recognition in the world for the guys you've helped create it. Who the fuck have you really created? Because I'm going to tell you right now, you didn't create Malik Brown. As much as I used to love DWF, as much as I like the company, I'm going to be real. I'm not going to sit here and claim that Keller created Malik Brown, TGO created Malik Brown, Lords Pastoya created Malik Brown, the American Eagle created Malik Brown, the Rebel created Malik Brown. I'm not going to sit there and say that. No, I'm going to say this. Malik Brown created Malik Brown. You want to sit there and talk about respect. That's a two-way street, partner. And as far as I'm concerned, 100 for you. You can have 20 million matches with Keller and you still will never be a legend in my eyes. You can have 10 million matches with Rebel and you still wouldn't be a legend in my eyes. The only way I can claim that you a legend is if you actually leave that little fucking bubble like you did with CCL and you start taking your little tours around all these other companies to prove why you are the best. And, uh, Hitting your little TGOs on everybody. Costing matches. Doing what you did. Attacking Mason Chronic. Yeah, that, that doesn't get you any recognition. That just gives you a death warrant. And I hope you're smart. I really do. I hope you're uh, smart enough to know the fucked situation you're in. Because you ain't even got to worry about Mason Chronic. Oh, no, no, no. You ain't got to worry about Mason Chronic. You got a lot of people you have to worry about. But just know this. Every dog has his day. And TGO, you are a dirty maggot field written dog. And you're going to be put down one day. And when you do, who knows, it may be Mason Chronic, it may be Ray Geddes, it may be Jamal Betlam, it may be Zach Stone, it may be me. You don't know. But just know, TGO, you going to eat a whole fucking tin of humble pie down the line. And when you do, you... Oh, it's going to be beautiful. And now that I'm out of the CCL, let's go to UWL. Let's go to a particular person. Heretic. Heretic, heretic, heretic. Ah. <laughs> uh. You know what's interesting? We are going to go into this match at Salvation. And we're going to try to kill each other. But more importantly, I'm going to make sure that I purge a demon. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to purge the demon out of Jeremy Paisley's body. Because I want you to know that your time is near. And when your time is near, when that day comes, it will be the downfall of the order. Because now, guess who's decided to get himself involved in this? Me. And the day I get involved in your business, Salem, is the day you should very well be afraid. That is truth. 
And the bigger truth is this. You're losing another demon. When you uh, get dropped back down into hell, heretic, and you are at the feet of your father, and you will whimper and you will cry, tell him how you lost to a man that did not fear you, that did not pity you. He just looked right through you. And then we get to the final one, DCA. <laughs> Zach Stone. <sighs> you know, you've grown over the years, Zach. You really have. You've grown. You have grown over the years from what you used to be to what you are now. I can, I can see how focused you are. And you know what? I'm going to be real. I've been real for the last couple of minutes, but I'm going to be real some more. That itch that I've been trying to scratch for years is finally going to happen in Revelations. I'm going to get my world title back. Now, see, you're going to be a little upset that I say this, but my world title. Because as much as Atlas Jones wants to stake a claim, as much as you want to stake a claim, as much as a lot of guys in the back want to step up, stake a claim, let's be perfectly real here. There's two things in this world that has built DCA to the heights that it's been. <sighs> It's been Malik Brown and the DCA Wildcats, or the DCA Wildcats and Malik Brown. However you want to put that order, it don't matter. Just note that those two important figures are the reason DCA is at a step up, is at a height that it's always been. And when it comes to takedown, when it comes to takedown, Malik Brown has been the guy that's carried this company on its back. That has done everything in DCA. That has made opportunities. That has given damn near the holy grail to anyone that wanted to step up. And Zach, you stepped up. But it's time for me to get that belt back. It's time for me to capture the one title that I so wrongfully lost. Well, it's time for me to get it back. It's time for Malik Brown to take back the keys to his castle. Or maybe the narrative will be that Zach Stone, for the second time, beats Malik Brown. And when that happens, if that happens, big if, I will literally be the one that will grab that title, put it around your waist, shake your hand, and say congratulations. You are now the face of this company. And the reason I say that is this. See, everybody around here wants to claim they're the face. They want to claim that they are the guy. They're Mr. Takedown. They're Mr. DCA. They want, to, they want to claim that. But the fact is, they're not. Because no matter whether or not I've been here or I've not been here, the fact is this. When you think of DCA, you think of Malik Brown. Because I have been on every moment because I have been making history on DCA. Not to take anything away from you, Zach, but as far as I'm concerned, and to quote a phenomenal athlete, DCA, hell, takedown is the house Malik Brown built. I know that's gonna hurt some feelings, don't care. 
And when it's all said and done, Malik Brown will be walking out. He'll be walking out of Revelations with that world title. And not only will I be the VWU world champion, I will be the DCA world champion. And hell, Supernova, I might be the CCL world champion. See, folks, your boy might be calling himself Malik Three Belts because I might just be walking out with three world titles. You just don't know.